What's up, guys? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. And this is David Talbert. And you're watching The Rob Relay Show. Yeah, keep watching. It's The Rob Relay Show. No Every time she come out, I'm like, God, she called you. She always get this you and always get this interview. I cannot get enough of her when she parts. Everything that's going on. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Ra Rolle from The Ra Rolle Show. And right now, I am here with the director, as well as one of the beautiful cast members, David Talbert and Carrie Hilson. How are you guys? Thank you. Thank you. I'm the beautiful cast member. Yeah. That's the director. I did see you make a cameo at the end. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> see, see that? I got my SAG card. Yeah. 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 And I do want to just jump right into this interview. I was at the pre-screening in Washington, D.C. at the gallery place, and I did watch a movie, and it was phenomenal. 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 Like and it. so, phenomenal. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, that's even more phenomenal. So it has a couple more syllables. Phenomenally phenomenal. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> So I do want to ask you, one of the things that you did state while we were at the pre-screening is that during the filming of this movie, tra a trailer actually caught on fire. How were you able to still move past that and get this movie produced? Because I think you said in 35 days. Yeah. How were you able to do that? Well, I mean, uh, the, the job of a director on a set is to make your day. Yeah. And so whatever obstacles are thrown at you, you have to figure out a way to just still make it happen right. at the end of the day because when the lights go down and people come see at the theater, they don't care that the trailer's uh, right. caught on fire. They yeah. care, is this movie any good and did you get the things you need to tell this story? Mm -hmm. So fortunately for me, strong producer Will Packer yeah. and actors who pushed through and uh, said, let's keep it going. Right. You know, well, we got it. This would be appropriate to shout out the stunt man who mm -hmm. had a little snafu. I, I oh, don't remember really? his name though. <laughs> but speaking of pushing through, and you know, yeah, what was his name? I don't remember. His name. I don't know, but bless his heart. Yes. Our, our stunt, yes. our stunt coordinator. If you worked under him, uh, well, you better have some extra life insurance because because oh <laughs> <laughs> everybody that worked under the guy responsible <laughs> for keeping people safe. Mm -hmm. They they caught a case. They broke a leg. Oh, they, wow. Yes, we. Oh, were, I missed. I wasn't. We there. were in the scene, and uh, oh, Jesse no. Usher's character was driving his car, and he had um, had some pain pills, and so we had a, a stunt driver in there. Oh, okay. And people were supposed to be crossing the street oh, while he was yeah. swerving, and so we got hit <laughs> there. And we was like in slow motion. We were like, no. Yes, yes, yes. So Gus is his oh. name. He's a beautiful guy, our stunt coordinator. But, you know, you're going you're gonna to break something if you work <laughs> out there. And I, mean, I think one of the scenes that was probably the most epic and hilarious has to be the dinner table scene on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. When you were acting that out, like, how was that? It was interesting because uh, to know something and... and play naive yeah. um, was a little challenging for me, I think. And, and maybe for a lot of people it would be, but just, just to continue to be naive. So it was, that was my challenge in that mm -hmm. scene. Um, but I, we got through it greatly, I think. Um, I'm really proud of what I saw in yeah. the finished product as well. And uh, <laughs> it's awesome. It was, that was an awesome day or series, few days. Well, she accessed some innocence, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and so you believe her. You believe that this is no, a small town. Like, you I believe mean, it's a small I town girl. Small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 yeah. that was a challenge because yeah. I'm I'm not a naive person. No, like, no, no, no. I know I everything. See, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a woman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. exactly. I also do want to ask you, um, obviously we know about your music career as well, but are you going to be doing more acting scenes coming up? I, I really do hope to. Um, David has been really part of giving me that encouragement and right. confidence and, and inspiring me to continue down this path. He really, really showed a lot of belief from, from the day I met him. Mm -hmm. um, he just was very encouraging. I had to audition maybe three, four times. Oh, wow. And, uh, <laughs> I was pledging her. Yeah, I, I was you definitely know, going you through know. some... Did, you did say that there will be a sequel. When can we expect that? 
Well, I'm writing it now. Okay. So uh, we'll see. And I'm inspired by going to theaters and see what people respond to the most and mm -hmm. see what I want to you know, do more of right. or less of yeah. uh, because anytime you do a sequel, it has to matter that you're doing a sequel. Yeah. And when you bring... More yeah, it is yeah. because people already have a relationship with the characters mm -hmm. and you have to make sure when you do a sequel, there's a reason that you're doing a sequel. Right. And mm -hmm. I think there's still more story to tell with this family. Yeah. Still things I want to tell that I didn't... Were there, were there any really, really complicated the, 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 the dinner scene okay. was the most challenging to mm -hmm. shoot. And um, uh, I had to call my friend Tim Story, who's a, a, a mentor of mine directing. Okay. And he shot uh, Think Like a Man, both oh, Think okay. Like a Man's, both Ride Along, Barber right. Shop. Uh, and it was kicking my butt because it was 15 people at a dinner table. Yeah. And I had to cover everybody and yeah. keep telling everybody's story. Mm -hmm. And it was challenging, I, and I, I, I was concerned. I called him, and he said, you know, you just have to shoot, put all three cameras on every person and run the whole scene, one, uh, you know, over and over right. again to each of them individually because then when you go to edit it, you'll have so much more coverage. And yeah. that's why the scene turned out as good as it did right. because... Because it was happening from different people. Absolutely. Areas. Multiple people were having conversations, side-eyes together. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So you know if Carrie Hilson is in the building, we have to ask her a couple of questions that weren't exactly related to the movie Almost Christmas. Sorry, David Tauber. So while we were interviewing them, I asked Carrie Hilson a few questions about her music career and what she was doing, especially in the international realm. Because you know that she went to Naija, Omo Naija. She was partying up there. She was doing shows and everything there. So I had to ask her, what exactly is going on with you in the international realm? And who are you looking to work with? See what she had to say. You know what, what's funny is this week I'm working on a collaboration oh, with really? an African artist. Who are you working with? Uh, well, her name is Tiwa. She won the Tiwa competition. Savage. No, not oh, that okay, Tiwa. Not Tiwa Another Tiwa, okay. she's from Zambia. She won okay. the, I call it the African so, Idol, but it's So, so Trace, there's a lot of Tiwa. What's her name? Tiwa. Um, Tiwa. Is that, is that like, Trace Trace is that like star, Keisha? Yes. In the, in the black world? No, 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 no. Is Tiwa the... Is everybody named Tiwa? Tiwa. No, no, no. It's not that common. Not, okay. Tiwa's not as common. Like, maybe if there was, like, a Fola or something, that's more oh, common. Okay. But Tiwa's a little... So what's a Jenkins name? In a Jenkins? Um, like a Niger, anything yeah. with, like, Oluwa in it. Like, the okay. last name Oluwa or okay. something. Like, okay. usual spell. My Nigerian name is Oluwa Kemi. Okay, yeah. Kemi's a pretty yeah. uh, common name, too. But it's, like, good name. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, I, that's what I've been working on. She won the competition. Oh, She's coming. Okay. We're recording a song that I wrote for us and right. shooting the video. And but I also, you know, I love Wizkid and I have talked. Okay. Um, uh, I have a mutual friend with Davido. We, okay. myself and the mutual friend, have talked. I don't know if it's gotten to him. Folly right. Pupa. We've been. Oh, nice. We've been talking and as well. So, Pupa, yeah. He's Congolese, I think too. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Y'all awesome. have lost me in this conversation. <laughs> like it's like y'all are speaking in tones. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I have a lot. But I love, you know, like, I, 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 I worked know. with, um, well, not worked with, I saw P-Square as well. Okay. Like, I, there, there are so many options right. and so many great artists over there. You gotta, I, I gotta put you up on African music. Also, no, once you get hooked on it, you're gonna be like, yeah. what have I been doing? Yeah, I know Fela, you know. Well, Fela Kuti A. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's He's classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides a sequel to Almost Christmas, do you have anything else in the works that we can expect of you to either direct or write? Well, I've, I've written uh, a couple films already that I'm going to be bringing to life in, in, a, in a, a television series that I'm working on that uh, Carrie's going to be in. Oh, uh, so we will see you on the big screen a lot more. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, and I'm doing another uh, uh, stage production next okay. year that Steve Harvey and I are doing together. So, yeah, so just continuing to keep it moving and... Uh, uh, you know, doing things I'm passionate about and mm -hmm. working with people that I respect. But November 11th, it's the movie to watch this season because it's absolutely hilarious. The director, you clearly were excellent. Carrie Hilson, her part was amazing and she will have you cracking up laughing. So this is definitely a movie to watch. Thank you guys so much for coming on to the Raw Relay show and have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> Hot topic 
lips every time that she blog I wish she come around, you know, we're shouting She be that a leg on